Hey, there was a brand new morning outside. There was actually like a type of misty fog that was settling over the land, which was like super pretty. So I woke up feeling pretty refreshed. Um, I had some ideas on what I wanted to do. I wanted to make a couple more storage chests and kind of get some organization things in order first uh, before setting off and exploring a bit around my house. So I decided to play some more music while I was kind of doing things around my little, my little Tudor uh, mansion. So I go down in the kitchen again. I start smelling some iron. I wanted to get some things done today. I wanted to not only just keep gathering supplies like wood and go mining and get food. I also wanted to start a small farm. Um, I wanted to see if I can get like a dog or some type of pet. Um, or a companion to tag along with me on my journey. Um, I also had plans to make like a garden and a greenhouse so I could start doing rooms, so I could start doing potions and start ha having different plants that give me healing properties um, so I can just have a plentiful supply of things like that. So I started smelting my iron and I was actually realizing I had a pretty decent chunk, uh, which was nice. Started to make some signs. So I started putting them around my house, like um, trying to, you know, organize different, uh, different things. I wanted to have like a flower dirt um, storage area. I wanted to have one for wooden cobble, potions, armor and weapons, uh, precious like kind of diamonds, iron, redstone, gold kind of, you know, lapis like type of chest. It was it was slowly coming together, and I, I was pretty happy with you know the area that I was in. It was very um, rich with kind of wildlife and different types of plants and trees uh, and caves. And I I thought I, I made a pretty good find. Apparently, I did a little bit of research on the mod before I recorded my next episode. Uh, apparently, these houses are extremely hard to find. Uh, there is like a... I think it's like a 15 out of 100% chance of finding one, uh, which is pretty damn crazy. I just got extremely lucky. So I set off, I go outside and uh, try to run around, start getting some more wood. I, I was low on wood, I needed a lot more spruce, but there was literally a huge forest around, so that was no problem. I started to collect a little bit of flowers now. Um, I was doing it slowly, but I, I did want to start a garden. Oh, look at my little beautiful tutor house. It's gorgeous. So I checking out the different things in the book. Um, there was also like different animals specific to obviously different biomes, which there was, I think, 300 different biomes in this. And I was, I was hoping to cover almost everything in this, in this mod in 100 days. I wanted to. I wanted to see everything. I wanted to see all the biomes and all the creatures and bosses. Every all the all the loot. Everything this 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 mod had to offer. So I come around through the flower meadow and I found I found a pretty decent cave. Had some coal and iron. The only thing I was disappointed in though was I wasn't really finding like other ores. I really just was finding coal and iron, which is great in itself. I mean, iron is very sufficient and is needed in Minecraft. A lot of crafting recipes require iron um, and coal, obviously, to make torches and cooking food. So I came across a, uh, a, a small dungeon with some zombies. So I was like, that's kind of weird. Like, those are pretty hard to find nowadays. We'll start killing the zombies. So I come in there, I start torching up the spawner, and there's no fucking chests. I was like, I was like, what? That that's so that's cheap. Um, but I guess sometimes they just don't spawn with chests. I guess it's just a weird generation chunk thing. So I start gathering this coal. I, 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 I didn't know if like certain ores only spawned in certain biomes because I, I hadn't really, I hadn't found like redstone or actual gold or diamonds to physically mine. It was just kind of like in the area. And I found a raccoon! <gasps> There's a raccoon! Hi! Can I give you guys berries? Can you follow me back to my home? Oh my goodness! 
What are you doing? That's so cute! Hey! Are you following me? Okay, my house is there. Come on. Come on, bud. So I start trying to coax him back oh to the house. Oh my god! Oh my god, you're you're so cute. <gasps> no, no, no. Follow me. I no, come on. It was a slow process. He was he was slow, but he was doing like this little weird paw movement thing, like he was gyrating his arms. I guess that meant he was excited. Because I was holding the sweet berries. Come on. Let's go. You're gonna be my first pet. I'm gonna call you. Uh what should I call him? Guys, what should I call him? Dude, you are so slow. We're almost there. We're almost there. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Oh my god. I finally get him to the house. Come on. Come on. Oh, you're my new friend. I'm gonna call you Gray. That's a good name, Gray. So I start smelting uh, the extra tin iron I got. So I head off again, and I notice there's like this giant ass spruce forest bordering my house. So while I was killing the sheep, I, I made a note of where that was so I could check it out in the future. I'm sure there was tons of secrets. It was a very pretty area. I liked it a lot. It was, it was, it just, it was just, it was nice. It felt like, you know, this place isn't so bad. Not everything actually wants to kill me. Um, I was wanting to find a village though at some point. Like, I needed to hire people so I could, you know, get traders and I could have them build stuff for me. I can have them mine and bring me resources. Because we were on day eight at this point. I found wolves too, but I didn't have any bones. Oh! Wolfos! So I couldn't tame them. Hi! Oh, I don't have any bones! So I was kind of looking for a different cave, and I found one, like, kind of like its, it's open cavern, jaw mouth thing in the little area. Because I, I knew when I wanted to get before day 30, because when the plague sets in, if I'm not quick enough, it, there could be a possibility that the villagers get infected and turn into, like, flesh-eating zombies. So I made some more torches. Seemed like a big cave, and it was already approaching uh, dusk, so I decided to actually stay in the cave for the night, because I just, I needed to mine. So I start going deeper, hearing these weird sounds. Um, and I thought it was like I gassed at first. There were some pesky mobs chilling in there, so I had to expose of their existence. So I come further down, and there's another dungeon uh, with chests this time. And I found a crapload of stuff. I found a renegade helmet, a dark katana, uh, copper bread, and I found runes in a buffoon player seat, which was extremely weird i didn't know what that was and manuscripts uh, and a light feather silver ingots and iron gunpowder so yeah i i was like extremely i didn't even know runes existed in this mod um after i reported i did some research on the mod itself on the kingdom of doldar um and it was just it was wild apparently you can make runic symbols to create magic staves that are extremely powerful, but they're really, really hard to craft, and there's, it requires a lot of materials. Um, but I was extremely pumped to find that, uh, find something like that. I found like four different runes, which was like a good find. I also found a flaming quiver, which if you hold it in your hand and you shoot arrows from a bow, your that? arrows become flame aspected. It's fucking cool. Hello? So I start trying to see if there's other avenues to check out in this cave. 
And it does. It goes kind of like in multiple directions. Um, and it was nighttime at this point. So I, yes, I just wanted to kind of shelter inside here for the day. And then I head back to my house in the morning. What the? Oh! Oh! Holy fucking shit! So then I was attacked by this wraith thing. Oh my god! And then I got like a Wraith fire charge, which I didn't know it did. It did. Start collecting some more iron. So I find find like this waterfall pouring into like this like chasm area. Um, so I thought I'd just kind of investigate it for a little bit. It was a good cave. It was it was a lot better than I thought it would because a lot of the caves that I've been finding recently were just kind of dead ended into like coal or stone. They didn't really go anywhere. But this one seemed to be a little bit more open, a little bit more expansive. So I got rid of the water and it was a dead end. Also, I found that this was copper, which um, I didn't know it really, all, all, in vanilla Minecraft it only can make like lightning rods and like copper blocks, um, but since this was modded, I, I thought it, it probably could make like actual armor and weapons and stuff. So I wanted to collect everything, I guess, I needed a lot of stuff. This, this, was, this mod was pretty big, pretty intent. So I headed down this area. And this is when I find uh, something very interesting. Whoa! What is that? What is that? Is that a boss? Oh shit! We need to come back here. We need. We need to get. We need. I have too much good stuff. We need to come back here. We found our first boss, which was awesome. Um, I was excited to kind of get some action-packed moments in this episode. Um, I didn't want it to just be like me crafting and mining and just, like constantly just building stuff all the time. Day nine. So I came back out and it was daytime. It was a beautiful morning in the lush, flowery meadow forest area. So I decided to head back to my house instead. I had a lot of good uh, items on me that I didn't want to lose. But there was a zombie and some strange armor and an iron sword, so I decided to take him on. I realized that the uh, katana wasn't actually that good. Because I would think like a sword like that and a mod like this would be pretty powerful, but it wasn't. Like it, it took like multiple hits to take down any type of mod. So I found some chickens, so I decided to kill them for food, but I was extremely full in the inventory. So I had to kind of sacrifice a few items that I didn't need, like flowers. So I run back to my house, but I, I realize in hardcore Minecraft, everything's harder to kill because not only do you have one life and you die, your world is deleted forever and you can never get it back, which is extremely sad. But it, that's what's so fun about the challenge is it, it, it does challenge you. It makes you feel like you need to accomplish more, like you cherish your items more than in just regular survival where you die and you can just respawn and go get them again. So I start organizing and putting things away. I start smelting some things. I start smelting some ingots. Um, I had a lot of stuff I wanted to organize. I also kept the silver on me because I wondered if I could make a silver sword. I wondered if it was more powerful. So I looked up runes and there was like these, you have to make these rune blocks and it was a lot. So you basically, you had to get like a, a stack of runes. You can make enchanted armor, wizard hats, um, magic staves, uh, enchanted like magical swords with them, and each rune had a different ability. For example, the cyan rune lets you breathe underwater for a long time. The orange rune let you, like, your, it would give your weapon uh, flame. The magenta rune would give you health. So I started making some more chests, and I also oddly found out you can make a boomerang, and you can play fetch with your dog. That's fucking awesome. I started putting some, some stuff away, uh, trying to figure out where I could put chests, because the house was kind of like closed in and cramped a bit. I was eventually, yes, going to expand 
uh, on, uh, on, on my house. Uh, but I just didn't want to do that just yet. I wanted to still collect a lot of supplies. Probably in the next episode, I will start actually building like storage rooms, other bedrooms, you know, a library, a garden. Uh, probably the next episode or two will be a lot of building, um, which is fine. I mean, it's needed. I don't want to just have like this tiny house the entire time. I just had a chest open. Gray? What? Gray, what are you doing? Gray? I had a lot of iron. I had a lot of ores. I had an okay amount of wood. You know, I was doing pretty, actually decent uh, for someone in this very hardcore world. So I decided to put like my actual runes and my more of the specialer items up in the attic where it's safer. Um, so I, I would know where they were and I wouldn't lose them. Hi! Are you stuck? Oh! Well, I'll be damned! I also found this chest behind cobwebs. What? And I have like an enchanted iron sword with sharpness too, and arrows, and a lead, and ingots. It was pretty crazy. Diamond horse armor. I couldn't figure out how to place this buffoon seat. I was trying to look for like supplies or some type of recipe to kind of guide me, but it just like, I couldn't set it down anywhere, which was strange. Um, so I just decided to, you know, put it in a chest. Also, you can make fence posts and palisades. So you can actually make like timbered walls. So you just didn't have to build everything with fences or blocks, which is pretty nice. Started making some fences. And I started making like a little perimeter, uh, like next to my little crop field, um, so I could get some sheep. I saw, I'd seen some sheep uh, by the large spruce forest and like that lake near the cave that I had found. So it was roughly probably about uh, the mid-afternoon at this point on day nine. So I decided to get my wheat and head off and get the sheep oats. And it was a grueling process. It took forever. Come on, guys. I gotta start my farm somehow. And I want you guys out here in the dead of night.
Yes, yes, oh my goodness. Get in. No, no, come in. Alright, now make a baby. Yeah, I'm gonna eat that baby, but uh. <laughs> oh yeah, it's so cute. I finally have my first uh, farm animals. So I can kind of have some type of supplies, which is nice. What's up, dude? So it was nighttime now at this point, so I decided to sleep. Day 10. A very foggy morning. It was very misty out once again in the early wee hours of the day, that's wee hours of the day. And so I decided that day 10 was time for some action-packed fights. Some some epicness. Alright. I'll be back, beautiful Tudor house. I'll be back. Oh, there's a pillager over there. Shit. And I'll be back, Gray the raccoon. I'm going to fight a boss and take on this tower. So I went off to check out the tower. I was nervous. I was nervous about it. Um, they have the they have archers and armored uh, night guards in there. So uh, <laughs> I was very very scared. So I started climbing the little snowy cap. See if I can like go like behind the like little cobble tower and get the drop on them. So I started hiding in the grass and I could see like this butcher dude like, on the like paprit. I could hear like armored sounds and like metallic thuds. So I decided to block and just kind of keep them in there and just hit them <laughs> inside the wall because they were very strong. So many fucking die. Oh shit. Oh. How much fucking health do you guys have? Full iron armor? Oh, I'm gonna take this shit. Oh shit! Hey, stay back! Stay back, Archer! Oh my god! So I finally defeated them. I got some iron armor, a full set, which was awesome. I finally defeated them and started climbing the tower. And lord and behold, um, there's literally no, no, no loot. It's just the armor. Are you serious? Alright, um, it's a nice view up here. I guess I can go put these this this armor back in my house, and then uh, let's go fight that boss. And then probably uh, the next episode, I'll go and explore off in the forest and go pretty far. Oh god! <laughs> Holy shit! That could have fucking killed me. So I headed back to my house. I was a little disappointed. Um, and I that was a, that was a good notion though. That those weren't really actually a good thing to pursue. It just really gave you like iron or gold armor sets. Um, it was kind of not really worth it, the hassle. 
the, the armor people are just kind of way overpowered. So it was, it was kind of similar to Pillager Outposts, almost. Like, just very minimal loot, not that good. Honestly, not worth, not worth the haul. It was time for the Battle of Eons, the Battle of Ages, to go fight this, this weird-ass boss in the cave. I headed back into the cave, um, and kind of went further down, and found that it went even deeper, so I decided to leave that for the, uh, another time. So I found him. It was time. It was time to take on this behemoth. Just, 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 swing! Just swing! Swing the fucking axe! Oh! All my weapons just kind of like bounce off his armor plates. Oh god. Just do it! Oh god. <laughs> what are you? What are you? He had multiple attacks, like, he would swing his big ass axe like three or four times in a swinging arc, he'd sometimes spin, um, he would stomp his foot into the ground, it would like launch me and blocks into the air, uh, and like knock me back, and then he, but I figured out how to beat him, is he would slam his axe down in this big swoop and it would get stuck in the ground, which that would give me time to run around to the back of him and his weak spot and how to do damage to him. Because his, his big metal armor, you couldn't damage it or hit it with anything. Come on! Let's go! I will destroy you, metal man! Where the diamond sword was plunged into his spine is his weak spot, his weak point. So that's where you could do the damage. Oh my god, that did nothing! Iron Axe is power more powerful. What do you want, little dude? What are you? Oh god, this guy. Can you get more berries? Oh god, he's swinging at me. Oh my god! No. Oh, 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 oh god. He's like one or two more hits. He's gotta be. Oh god. Oh my god, this guy is scary. Oh god. Oh, I, bet I bet that attack would fucking kill me in one hit. Oh shit! Slam your axe down! He's one hit! He's one hit! Ah. 
so accomplished. Did I get? I got a helmet and I got his axe. We defeated our, we defeated our first boss. I felt awesome. Oh, that's so cool. So I came over the rise of this hill. It was sunset, and I found another abandoned village, which was probably attacked by a oh, raiders or thieves. It's an abandoned village. Can I like find a village where there's people that want to trade with me which were people in this mod that could come to your house and try to rob you same thing if you're on a horse and you're riding somewhere and you come across a band of robbers they can rob you and take your loot and attack you. i mean it, this mod was pretty wild so there was a witch Shit. and an armored dude an arm. in this abandoned village witch. i found a cestus which was like a fucking like quick strike Ooh, this weapon can deal a flurry of quick blows with a very short herb <gasps> Ooh, a fucking warhammer. Woo! Let's try this out. Fist cuffs. Oh shit, I got a gauntlet. Are you friendly? Nope. You're not. Oh my god, it's got saying not back. Shit. This is dangerous. It's nighttime. Oh fuck, okay. So it was nighttime, basically. Oh my god. And there was an armored guard. Let's head home. Uh, and he did a lot of damage. But the glove was pretty good. It did knock back. Dude, what the fuck? This poison's not wearing off. We need to get to the safety of our house. So I decided to run away from the village. Uh, go back to my house and explore it the next day when I was more equipped. Because nighttime, nighttime is a dangerous time when you're a, a feeble little medieval man. A medieval squire. Oh no, 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 we got three sheep. Oh, holy shit, dude, that was an action packed episode. Oh, fuck, go away. Okay, guys, we're gonna end this episode here. We got a, a Cestus, which is like a badass gauntlet. We got a, a war hammer. We got an axe of a thousand metals. We're good. So. Uh, we're gonna end our little episode here, and we're gonna go to bed. Day 11. I was eating some carrots in my kitchen, and smelting more iron, and started to organize a couple things. So I was planning to explore that abandoned village just a little bit, depending on if it was very mob heavy, and kind of the surrounding spruce forest. It was a good area, and I wanted to see what it had to offer. Um, definitely in the next episode. I would explore it uh, more like vigorously. I just kind of wanted to skirt the outskirts of it. Because in hardcore Minecraft, you have to be very careful. Like, y y you, you cherish your items more than if you were in regular survival. You know, you, you're very cautious around like hostile mobs and caves and just different areas. Because you, you never knew what could come out of this mod. You, you know, you never knew what could come running out of the trees at you. So it was another beautiful, crisp, sunny day in the, in the wonderful world. So I went to check out my crop field and my animals. They're still doing good. I also figured out how to make a scarecrow, uh, which was just like wheat and sticks and wool, which was pretty cool. Um, <laughs> It basically would keep crows away because crows I didn't even know that crows can come into your crops and eat them and like you would like basically one day come and like all your crops in your farm are gone what the f what is that noise it sounds like someone's like singing 
Oh shit! What the f w Was that here before? Hi! That's a nice that's a nice song you got! Is that in the game? Is that Odin against the mod? Hi! No! 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 No, we're not going there! Ah, shit! Shit! Stop! Oh! Fuck! Hey! Hey! No, 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 no! Fuck! Not again, not again, not again, not again, not again. Give me out, give me out, give me out, give me out, give me out. Oh, fuck off, fuck off. Oh my god, I'm getting out of here. I'm getting far away from that place. No, Miss Witch. I realize, yes, mobs are a lot harder to kill in our oh, form. They have more health. Die. Um, it takes a lot more damage hits to take them down and kill them. Uh, so, yeah, that's... I Because I, I realized earlier on, I'm like, why is everything not dying so quickly? Like, with powerful weapons. And I'm like, it's because it's hardcore. And they have more health. And more HP. But if you do get... Um, certain weapons like extremely powerful armor and armor and weapons in this it is easier to kill things but you have to acquire that stuff in dungeons so i came back over the hill uh to investigate the little abandoned uh, village there are abandoned villages in this place which means the villagers are sadly uh, murdered uh by like kingdoms or caught in like a war or battle so that can happen Then I found a coven of witches. Holy shit! Holy shit! It's a witch village! Ah! Oh my god! What the hell, man? What the hell? So, the village was littered with witches and, like, guards with very sharp iron swords. Fuck off! What the- um, Jesus Christ. Didn't like it at all. And the witch just would not leave me alone. She just kept chasing me and chasing me. I think the village is abandoned. I think, like, the villages can be raided by other kingdoms, like, if they're fighting. Or, like, taxes or something. Because I know you have to pay taxes. Or something like that in this mod. To a king. Oh, I got food. I got food though. That's okay. We're going. We're going. We're going. We're going. We're, going. we're gonna explore. Dude, that place is dangerous. So I started to run away, basically, kind of bordering this little river creek right next to a spruce forest. I'm very surprised I didn't die here. I came very close to death's door many times. Oh my god! Bye, -bye raccoons. Maybe we should not explore this village right now, okay? Maybe it's just not worth it. Oh my god, but there's endless berries! So once again, it was, it was dimming dusk, and I decided to use my compass to head back to my house to go to bed. Uh, I did not want to deal with this area uh, at the moment, but I would explore it later on. So that about does it um, for this episode. Uh, I went back to my house and put a th few things away and went to bed. So I will see you guys in the next episode for another adventure.